faith or belief, which is more important? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Beerman, and I'm really, really glad you joined us today for our gathering of Metaphysical Ministry International. So what in the world is a metaphysical ministry? Well, metaphysics is a philosophy that explains quantum physics, which proves through actual research, through actual scientific studies, how we create our reality and influence everything around us in the process. It's meta, it's bigger than just your five senses, because what you hear, taste, see, smell, and touch is less than 1% of what's out there. So to really experience everything there is, you want to learn how to be open to experience the other dimensions beyond your physical ones. And that just takes wanting to practice doing. We begin every week with a happy share. Now that's something that leaves you feeling really good and really happy. And if you've been following me for a very long time now, you may notice my voice sounds pretty decent today. And that's because my healing took a big leap yesterday. I had been terribly, terribly sick for two weeks. And then I woke up yesterday just feeling way, way, way better, better than I had in a couple of months. And I'm really grateful. I'm so happy to know that my healing, even though it had paused, you know, I'd step backward. I'm again moving forward because that's how life works always perfectly and always in divine direction and timing. So what do you believe about faith versus belief? Well, I just finished leading a mastermind group on Wallace D. Waddell's book, The Science of Getting Rich. Now, it really is a science and it really is a metaphysical book because he makes the point in there that you have to let the universe know what you want. And when you ask for it, you then must know with full faith that it is yours. And you must not waver from what it is that you desire. You have faith. And you know what the universe does give it to you as soon as you ask? Well, let's say it, it brings it to you. But you can't receive it until, number one, you have the faith. Number two, you're the person you need to be to be able to live and take the actions that your requests require. And also, as I said a moment ago, you need to take the actions, the divinely inspired actions. And what that means is, many people call it synchronicity. When you get a feeling or you meet someone you weren't expecting to meet, there's no such thing as coincidence. You're supposed to meet that person or overhear that part of someone's conversation or you're flipping radio stations and you hear a song. Just enough of the lyric to realize, oh, I've been asking for guidance. There it is. Or maybe you see someone reading or holding up a paper or a book and you see the other side. And there are just two or three words you needed to know. The communication comes in many forms. When you're open to noticing, you will receive it. And then you get the next step. And the next step. It's all about having faith. Because when you believe something, there's some doubt in there. The universe is never going to deliver when there's doubt present. Even if you're 99% sure, 1% is enough to cause the universe to not deliver something maybe you don't really fully want. Instead of believing something, you want to know it. So I cross out the word belief and put in the word know, K-N-O-W, that it is yours. And when you know it, well, that's the same thing as having faith now, isn't it? Now, if you're on the ministry page, you look up there, you will see a page called Hold the Space For. Hold the Space is envisioning somebody living a reality that they don't yet live, but they want to. Maybe they want to become a best-selling author. 
Maybe they want a new bicycle. Maybe they want a new relationship. Is there something that you want to be living as your reality that's not there yet? If there is, go on down there. Let us know what it is. Talk to us. We're not going to know if you don't tell us. You see, when you put out a request to the universe, certainly it goes out. I mean, you have the faith it comes to you. And always in divine timing. And what if your thought form was magnified by other people seeing you in that same reality? So you let us know what you want us to hold the space for for you. It will appear on that page also. Come back at least once a week. Let those that you know, your family, your friends, the people you work with, to come to the page too. Read every name and request on there. Read it out loud because there's more power in spoken words than just a little voice in your head. You don't have to know who the people are. The universe does. If you've never done so, go on over there and grab your copy of how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. I really appreciate your clicking like and share so the word gets out. Because you know why I started this ministry online? Because I used to do it live in person. Because before I thought of doing it online, before I moved to the place where I currently live, I could not find a spiritual community that came even close to my own belief system. So I figured, maybe you're in the position where I was and you can't find people who, from a spiritual side, this is not religious, you can be of any religion, because we're talking only about the spirituality. You can be of no religion, because religion and spirituality are two different things. This is a place where they can come and they can share. And that reminds me, go in down there and tell me, what do you want to know about? And of the things I've shared here so far, what are your feelings on them? I can't know if you don't tell me. So let's be active together by leaving a comment. And again, thank you so much for coming by today. I wish you a week filled with many blessings. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman, and I'm really, really glad you gathered here with us. <laughs> okay.